Eileen here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share a Dollar Tree DIY using one of these super cute mailboxes. Now this is that tin one and I did a remake of it for Hanukkah themed for my mom. This was the first time in a while I've done a DIY with something other than just papers and I had a really good time with it so let me get on into it. A couple years ago, I think I picked these up from the Dollar Tree guys, and they're adorable just as is, and I use them that way, as is. And last year, I don't think I even took them out for some reason, and I came across them this year and thought, let me do something more fun with it. So I was thinking, I haven't really figured out what to get my mom. Shopping is just not the same, and I thought, I would DIY one of these for Hanukkah and then put a gift card, maybe some chocolates and stuff inside of here. So you could do this in any theme. It could be Christmas, it could be glam, girly, it could be vintage, shabby, chic, whatever. So you could do it whatever way you want, but in this case, I did it for Hanukkah and I'm just gonna give you a quick sneak peek here of what I decided to try and do with this mailbox. So let me show you a little bit about the process and how I created this and then you guys hopefully could make one as well. So I started out with this basic tin mailbox from the Dollar Tree and it opens and it has the flag so those were a couple of challenges I faced when trying to cover it but I was able to figure it out. I started off by just tracing out the side pieces. I used just regular copy paper from my printer just so I didn't have to do it right on to the pattern paper in case of any errors. I did this again because there's obviously two sides but one of them is recessed so this one fits on the outside one and then the one that is recessed I had to trim up a little so that it would fit inside. Now that I see they fit, I'm just going to trace them onto the pattern paper and cut them on out. Figuring out this piece here was a little bit of a challenge. I want to point out on this area where there's that red, where when you close the door to the mailbox, it's going to cover that red. So I didn't cover that with the paper because I figured that would interfere. So the paper will go with the door closed all the way to the edge there. I thought I could remove the flag and then reattach it with a brad or something, but no matter what I tried, I just couldn't get it off and I didn't want to break it. And then the metal and the tin started shifting. So I decided to just leave it and figure it on out and keep going. Here I'm just measuring and marking where the flag will line up. Then I'm going to punch a hole and cut my paper so that I could slide in the two pieces above and below the, the flag. I'm just using some regular liquid art glitter glue to attach my papers to the tin box. In order for the mailbox to open and close, you couldn't cover this part with paper, so now I'm dabbing on some white chalk paint, and that wasn't working in the end, so I ended up using this acrylic white paint on top of the chalk paint once that was dry. So it might be easier to do the paint first, but I was just winging it, never did this before, so I did the paint after. 
the flag was quite a challenge for me to cover. Um, at first I thought I would just glue pieces of white, but it just really wasn't working. So I ended up getting a piece and wrapping it like wrapping paper over a box, but in this case over the flag. And now it looks clean white from front and back and I could just cover it and decorate it. And that's what I'm about to do right now is go on and decorate the entire mailbox. And then I'll be right back. Oh, and one last thing, I want to use this candle holder to elevate the mailbox so it looks more like a decor piece when I'm finished. Then to put in the mailbox, I did make my mom an ATC card. I don't think she has any ATC cards, so this will be her first Hanukkah is going to be the theme here and it says happy hanukkah i cut that out and just simple simple little atc card i'm going to put in the mailbox and then using the paper package that i had picked up i decided to just try and use some of the cutouts to just make simple cards for my parents that won't be from the kids and this will be the one i'll give for my father I just put that panel on, added some trim, and I didn't want to make it too girly. So those are just eight nights of Hanukkah representing that. And yep, so I'll give that to my dad. So this is how it turned out, you guys. I think it is amazing. This came out better than I expected. It was a little rough while I was making it, having a few challenges. I did cover, like I said, the chalk paint was a good base for the acrylic because the chalk started to scuff off, although she'll probably have it closed most of the time, but in case she wants to open it and put anything in there. And then I have this decoration here on the end that fell off some other, I don't know what, decoration. And my little pom-pom trims all around, it made a little lace bow. I had the candle holder already. It was painted gold, so this was perfect. And then I added the bling here and finished it off with another cute bow, blingies. Here's how my little um, flag came out, and it works. It just can't go all the way because of this chunky rosette. I stuck in the middle here with the bling behind it. And then on this side, I have just the pom-pom trim kind of plain in there. And then on the back side, I have some more little die cuts from that paper um, that I had gotten from, I think it was scrapbook.com. It was a complete Hanukkah set and it came with a bunch of sheets and some stickers and I used it and it, I've had it for a couple years. So now I have just a tiny bit left. So the cutouts, this was one of the big stickers and the stickers were really thick, good quality another sticker there, and more blingies. And I made sure that the flag had something cute on both sides. I can't wait for my mom to be able to show this off on her little display for Hanukkah for years to come. All right, guys, that's it for today. That was my mailbox DIY, turning it into something regular and creating it into your own unique little piece. Just a dollar and using supplies you already probably could pick up on hand that you just have laying around and make it into something fun and special and your own. So let me know what you think about videos like this. As always, I hope you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload to YouTube. I'll see you soon. Bye.